The Grenada Fund for Conservation, Inc. is a non-profit organization which is actively involved in environmental projects around Grenada, particularly coastal restoration work in areas namely Telescope, Marquis, Grenville and Subiz. These efforts focus on the replanting of mangrove to protect the shorelines. The organization is now concerned over the negative impact that sand mining on the nation beaches will have on their extensive restoration works. Director Tyrone Bugmire said the Grenada Fund for Conservation, Inc. was very instrumental in lobbying government to ban this practice in 2009. However, the present administration reversed that decision to allow the Gravel on Concrete Emulsion Corporation exclusive authorization to remove sand from selected beaches. As recently as a few months ago, we ob actually observed and photographed large um, amounts of sand being removed. Now, obviously, as an organization that is investing considerable resources in coastal rehabilitation, we must be concerned that sand mining continues to take place, not only in Telesco, but in other areas of Grenada. After all, every dollar we invest in public education and in coastal rehabilitation and getting local people to be trained and to be involved in, in propagating and transplanting mangrove propagules is literally and figuratively eroded. But Mai is calling for legislative support from government to ensure that gains made by organizations are protected. When, when the, the, the people offering themselves up for political office are prepared to sacrifice the, the environmental integrity of their communities, allow people to do anything they want in the interest of getting votes, if that sort of thing continues to happen, all of our projects are compromised. Not only projects of organizations like Nature Conservancy and Grenada Fund for Conservation, but even efforts that are being done by governmental agencies will be compromised because we, we must have a, a sustainable environment plan. We must have enabling policy and legislation. If we have those things in place, coupled with the community efforts, we will see a lot more happen over time. In a bid to continue restoration works, the community continues to partner with local non-profitable organizations to strengthen their beach from disappearing from erosion. The project is called At the Water's Edge and includes planting mangroves and building an artificial coral reef on the water. The artificial reef is an experiment that puts Grenada on the map as a leader in marine conservation. The project's lead scientist will be arriving in Grenada next week. Oslin Crosby... GBN News.